Hey guys, Nintendrew here, and uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I just got a package in the mail. Um, I've seen these things and I've heard about them, but I've, I didn't think I'd have a chance to review them so soon. Uh, but just the other day I got a package out of the blue from Retrobit, and inside were these guys. And these are brand new Super Nintendo cartridges, and actually we've got an NES one here too. Uh, but these are brand new Super Nintendo and NES multi-carts, and they are filled with classic titles that are fully licensed by the original developers, which is kind of crazy because these are like brand new releases in 2017, which I thought was pretty nuts. So yeah, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to do a bit of an unboxing. We'll break the seal on each of these, open them up, see what's inside, and uh, check out some gameplay. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with this one. This is the Data East Classic Collection. Looks like this one's got five titles. Most of these are made in partnership with Data East, but I believe we've also got a Jaleco cartridge here too, which we'll get to in a moment. But Data East was responsible for a ton of NES and Super Nintendo classics like um, Bad Dudes, Joe and Mac, uh, the Robocop games, so they have plenty of classics under their belt. So I'm excited to see what sort of a selection we've got here. Looks like uh, on this one we've got Fighter's History and uh, one of the sequels, I'm not sure which one that is, but We've got two Fighters History games, uh, Side Pocket, which is a pool game, and then Magical Drop and Magical Drop 2, which are both puzzle games. And to be totally honest, I don't think I've actually played any of these five titles, so I'm kind of excited to boot them up and try them out. And I feel like I should mention while I'm here, the design of this box is awesome. <laughs> like, it looks straight up like an original box. So yeah, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we've got inside. It's kind of funny opening a game like this today. Usually if you have a brand new sealed Super Nintendo title these days, you're not going to just go and open it, right? Because <laughs> it's going to tank the value. All right, there we go. Yeah, it, it straight up looks just like an original Super Nintendo box. I love that. That's really cool. Okay, let's see what we've got inside. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay, look at this. There it is. Look at that nice black and red color scheme. They've taken some liberty with the cartridge design. And I love that it comes with its own... Uh, dust sleeve or it's a cartridge protector that's nice let's pop it out of here yeah it looks like a super nintendo cart all right let's set this to the side for now i'm gonna see what else is in here because i see some other goodies okay cool so we got a couple of pins one from magical drop and one from fighter's history and we got a couple of stickers too as well it looks like we got one from side pocket and one that just says data east classic collection cool cool now one thing i'm curious about is i want to see how they implemented the the switching between titles because this this cartridge has five games on it, so I'm curious. Uh, I I thought they might have like a switch on the outside, like a hardware switch, but I, I guess they must have made their own new custom menu. So let's go ahead and boot it up and see see what it looks like. Published by Retrobit. Oh, that's cool. I got the custom logo in there. All right, Data East Classic Collection. That's kind of surreal to see a 2017 copyright on, an, on a Super Nintendo title. Oh, that's really cool. They've got like a whole menu. So we got Fighter's History, Fighter's History 2, Magical Drop 1 and 2, and Super Side Pocket. Let's go ahead and boot up Fighter's History. All right. Like I said, I've never played this, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But uh, we'll go for it. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. All right, button mashing. That's about as much as I can do here. Hey, it seems to be working though. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, get up. Oh, he's got me in a corner. Oh no. Oh, I got him. <laughs> I'd like to be able to say I'm getting the hang of this, but I, I don't think I am. Oh, I just shot something somehow. No! Oh, he got me. Okay, I've done about as well as I could, so let's let's keep going. Alright, let's try out Super Side Pocket. It's kind of an obscure genre, but I, I enjoy a cool game every once in a while. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I will say I really like the music. All right. Yeah, that's pretty fun. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try out Magical Drop here too. I'm not sure what sort of uh, puzzle game that is, but I'm curious, so let's see what it is. I see we've got a Japanese logo here. I wonder if that means that it wasn't uh, ever localized before. Yeah, from what I'm able to find online, it looks like this was uh, a Super Famicom exclusive, like it wasn't ever brought stateside. So that's kind of cool now that we can, uh, that we have a way to experience the game outside of Japan now. That's, that's nice that they were able to include that. Magical drop. Sure, I'll be the fool. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? Oh, okay, so you're like picking up these little orbs and stacking them. And I, I assume you're supposed to get like three or four in a row, right? Yeah, it's three. Okay, cool. 
This is pretty fun, yeah, so you just like kind of swap the pieces around between columns and try to make matches. Oh, it's getting intense. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Cleared out some of it here. Oh no! What was that? No! Oh, I lost. No! <laughs> well, hopefully that wasn't too bad for my first try. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the next cartridge. Alright, next up we've got the Joe and Mac Ultimate Caveman Collection. And this includes the original Joe and Mac and both of its sequels. That's Congo's Caper and uh, Joe and Mac 2 Lost in the Tropics. Alright, let's open it up. So again, this is another Data East uh, collection. Alright, let's see what we got. Very similar set here. Looks like we have a manual in here. Okay, I actually missed this. The, uh, the Data East Classic Collection also came with a manual here. Which is like a, a neat little set of uh, game art and instructions. That's kind of cool. A throwback to the days where games actually had physical manuals. <laughs> so yeah, we got a, a Joe and Mac manual here too as well, which I assume is similar. Yep. So we've got instructions for each of the uh, each of the titles. Cool, cool. And again, it looks like we've got a, a couple of uh, Joe and Mac pins. And here is the cartridge, Joe and Mac Ultimate Caveman Collection 3-in-1. Alright, let's start it up. Yep, just like the other one, we got a little custom menu here where you can choose between the, uh, the three titles. I'm gonna go ahead and start up the original Joe and Mac. Alright, here we go. Again, it's gonna be pretty apparent that I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I never was into the Joe and Mac series, but I'm gonna have to, to take some time and learn them now. Now that I've got the opportunity. It's really interesting that we're kind of breaking new ground with these multi-carts, because it's it's hard to know what to call them. Like, they're not repros per se, but they're not homebrew titles, because they were, of course, already published titles. But these are brand new compilations published over 25 years after the Super Nintendo launched. It's, it's really cool, I haven't seen anything quite like this before. Big jumps, big jumps. <laughs> Uh-oh, boss fight? Boss fight, oh no! Oh, leave me alone. No. Oh, I almost got him. I've almost got him. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, I saved the cave lady. I've done it. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, let's check out the next cartridge. Okay, so this one is the Jaleco uh, pack that I was mentioning. And this is the Jaleco Brawlers pack. And as the name might suggest, this is a pack of four separate uh, Side-scrolling beat-em-up titles uh, includes Rival Turf, Brawl Brothers, The Peacekeepers, and Tough Enough. <laughs> Alright, let's crack it open. I'm assuming we're gonna see the same sort of thing in here. Alright, and surprise, surprise, we got <laughs> the cartridge, a couple pins, and uh, stickers, and a manual. Alright, and here is our uh, Jaleco Brawlers Pack cartridge. Okay, let's pop it in. Yep, same old, same old. Looks like we got a very similar menu. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I am not up on my uh, my side-scrolling beat em up so this is another collection where I, I don't know that I've played any of these, but uh, I guess I'll just pick one at random. I'm gonna choose, uh, let's, let's try out Rival Turf. But yeah, I know there are a lot of people who really enjoy side-scrolling games like this, so if this is your, uh, if this is your kind of genre, this seems like a sort of no-brainer as a classic collection of beat em ups This guy kind of looks like a buff Mario. <laughs> Got him. All right. Oh, this is a lanky dude. Ugh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> They're creepy. They're like skeleton people. There we go. That was nice, whatever that was. Whoa. All right. I like this move. This is my same strategy in fighting games, too. Just kind of spam <laughs> one move that seems to work. Is that a Diet Coke that came out of the trash can? Can I pick it up? Give me. There we go. Oh. Oh, now I'm fighting people on the bus? <laughs> okay. This guy looks really weird. I love all the different character designs, though. But, like, they're not all the same guy repeating. Heading for the stadium. Oh. Get up, Mario! Oh, gosh, this dude's giant. Oh, I took a sword! I got a sword! Yeah! 
Oh, eat it. No. There we go. All right. We did it. All right, so that is the last Super Nintendo cartridge. Let's take a look at the uh, the NES one here. Now, I'm thinking I may have saved the best for last here, potentially, because uh, I saved this one for the end because there are a couple games on here that uh, caught my eye. These are... Uh, this is another Data East collection. Uh, this is the Data East All-Star collection for NES. It's got a couple of standout classics here, uh, some of my favorites on the NES, Bad Dudes and Burger Time. Uh, there's also Buggy Popper, which I believe is a racing game, uh, Ring King, which is a boxing game, and the NES version of Side Pocket. So yeah, I'm curious to, to open this up and see, because we, we saw that the, the Super Nintendo cartridges were quite a bit different from the original. So I'm curious to see what they've done with this uh, with the NES cartridge. Let's, let's open it up and see what we've got. Oh, here's our pin set. We've got a pin from uh, Burger Time and from Ring King, it looks like. All right, let's get the cartridge out. Oh, that's neat. It's got this same sort of uh, red and black design, but of course with the uh, classic NES cartridge shape. That looks really cool. I love that these cartridges also like kind of double as collector's pieces. Like, in addition to being functional, they, they look nice. Oh, this one comes with a, an NES cartridge sleeve too. That's a nice touch. And <laughs> it comes with a set of Burger Time stickers. Awesome. <laughs> All right, enough talk. I'm going to go plug this in. Data East All-Star Collection. All right, I'm curious to see what the menu looks like on this one because now we're we're changing platforms. Oh, still pretty similar. We got Ring King, Bad Dudes, Side Pocket, Burger Time, and Buggy Popper. Man, this is really cool that they, they went to the trouble to make their own custom menu for each of these multi-carts. It's really a, a attention to detail there. All right, I've got to play some Bad Dudes, so <laughs> let me start this one up. There we go. <laughs> you gotta love this iconic intro here. All right. Die, ninjas. There we go, got him. I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> All right. Okay, I gotta try some burger time. Of course, the uh, the NES port is not quite as fun as the uh, the original arcade version, but it's still a, a fun little game. All right, there we go. I always did think it was funny that the the meat in Burger Time was suspiciously green. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I ran out of pepper. Oh, game over. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I'm not going to go through every single one of these, but you get the idea. We've got a good selection of uh, classic Data East NES titles there. So, yeah, um, I think that's about it. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this unboxing and uh, sort of mini review of these new RetroBit multi-carts. Uh, if you'd like to pick up some for yourself, I'll leave links to the store pages in the description below. And otherwise, feel free to share the video around with any friends who might find it interesting, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks again for checking out the video and for making it all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I've got links to all my social media in the description below. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, that sort of thing. And if you'd like to help out even more, I've got a link to my Patreon on the right side of your screen. Otherwise, I hope you'll look out for the next video. Take care.